hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video so i had to get off or i was advised to get off of shimigami tensei 5 to record this video you guys know i've, I've been putting in some hours on it <laughs> before anyone wants to ask it's fire i'm enjoying myself but i came across this article that i wanted to present to you guys and get your opinion on it the question of the day is would this cause you to crash out so we have a doctor whose name is dr han jo kim and he was married to a 32 year old woman who allegedly has been escorting ever since they got married now he thought she was just uh some girl that went to a school she was in college she was developing an an app no she wasn't developing anything she was getting her back blown out uh, it comes to find out that that dr kim had found a racy text message on her email and upon doing some investigations that's when he found out that she had been getting money from these men over the past several years that totaled to the amount of $700,000. Now, the first part of this that really got me scratching my head, I mean, really digging in my scalp, is Dr. Ho Jim Jo, I apologize, I just messed his name up. Dr. Han Jo Kim was paid very well. In 2018, it is alleged that he made $3.2 million. Now, if your husband, obviously he can take care of you. That's, a, to, <laughs> that's you know, an understatement, right? That's an understatement. She was probably very well taken care of. What is going on in the escort game that you're just that into it that you got a loving husband, you're making enough where, hey, you know, it is what it is. Cause when you total out how much money she's been getting since 2015, it's probably a little over a hundred thousand dollars per year from sleeping with men in you know foreign countries. She'd say, hey, I'm got a, a a work trip I gotta go to. No, 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 no. The work trip was her on hands and knees, thumb in her butt, getting driven around the hotel room. That's the only thing she was doing that <laughs> weekend, unfortunately. But it just seems like this woman, to give a couple background stats about her, because I think she looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, all right? She was named Miss Connecticut in 2011. Okay, now she told Dr. Kim while they were dating that she was working on an app that was supported by a wealthy investor. Uh, when Kim asked Turner how she was supporting herself while the app was in development, it said that she claimed she was living off a $500,000 inheritance from a great grandmother. Uh, no, she wasn't doing all that. So, I mean, she had one good thing going for her, okay? She was Miss Connecticut 2011, okay? That's one good thing. I mean, I think she's somewhat of a looker. I think she's, she's pretty, you know, that's, that's another good thing, I suppose, right? So I, I just don't understand how when you essentially win the game, in this case, it looks like she was honestly looking for a sucker and she got one. So you, you win the game. Why did you hit new game plus? Why did you go back to an old save and start playing from that point forward knowing you didn't have to anymore? That's what it looked like she did. She and and she was speed running and she was pretty good at speed running, except she missed this jump this time. And unfortunately, she didn't win this speed running because, uh, you know, Dr. Han Jo Kim found the email. He, he saw it himself. He said, hey, this looks odd. Let me let me look deeper. And then he comes to find out that his wife is just getting smutted out all across the world and earning one hundred thousand dollars per year off of it. That's the part where if I'm Dr. Han Jo Kim, I'm sitting in my house like, wow, I literally could have given you everything. And in some ways I did because, you know, because he earned the 3.2, you know, she probably got some stuff off that. I'm not going to say she got half of it, but you know, she, he probably was like, Hey, happy wife, happy life. Right. This is probably the mentality this brother was moving with only for him to find out later at a later date that it didn't matter how much he was making it. It, I don't think it ever did. I, I, I think maybe this woman is just addicted to escorting, which is crazy to think about, but you know, I can, will I give her a little bit of a golf clap to say it's impressive the amount that she is pulling from escorting a year? Sure. Yeah, I actually will. But man, I, <laughs> this is, this is, this is one that escapes me. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like I see this and I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all, but it's good that Dr. Hanjo Kim has figured this out. He's getting out of this scenario. He's kicking her to the curve he can begin the healing process because i feel like in situations like this if dr han joy kim crashed out i don't even think i would say he was in the wrong for crashing out if we're being honest because we're talking about six years of cheating 
man, we're talking about STDs or STIs, whatever you want to refer to them as, but just what you're opening your body up to in forms of sickness, whew, the money, that's what I'm thinking about, the money aspect. I'm like, man, all the shit you done bought, I'm sure there was probably one thing, you're like, damn, you don't, you know you don't need this, but I'm gonna get it for you anyway, because you asked, because I care about you, I'm gonna get it for you, knowing damn well you don't need it. It's like, that's where me, like, where the psycho and me start flaring up, where I'm sitting in the dark and the Jack the Ripper thoughts just overflow my mind, and it's just overtaking me, right? I start talking with a, a 1840 British accent, like, that's where... It, my crazy is gonna start kicking it. So I think in this situation, if he had crashed out, man, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I was about to say something very violent, but I'm just gonna say, if he had crashed out, mag dumped her, I'd be like, you know, I wouldn't have done that because I don't want to sit in the box for the rest of my life, but I understand how it got to that point. That's, that's, that's where I'm at with it. I'm like, yeah, situations like this, man, when people crash out, you, I just look at it and I'm just like, Lady, what you, what you, what did you think was going to happen? Come on now, it's like you. He came home from work. He was working at eight to twelve, and and you're riding his best friend's dick. And right when he comes in on the on the last, you're at the tip of you're at the tip of the cock. And when he comes in, you make eye contact and go down to the base while while making eye contact and biting your bottom lip before you say, Richard, stop. Let me explain. I think if you got off when you were at the tip and you didn't go down to that base, he might not have came back with <laughs> with the Sig Sawyer P226 and laid everybody down. <laughs> I think if you got off at the at the tip of the ride, everything would have everybody would have lived. But you went to the base and bit the lip and closed the eyes. You can't be surprised when he crashes out. And I think in situations like this, you know, Doctor Han Jo Kim has every reason to crash out, and it's good that he didn't. You guys know my answer. I wouldn't have crashed out, unfortunately. I'm not built to be sitting in them jail cells, all right? But I thought I would ask you guys. So to my ladies and my gentlemen, if you are in a situation like this, are you crashing out or are you just respectfully leaving from this very potentially toxic scenario? I don't know. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. As always, you guys know where to find me. Patreon.com forward slash RMP. I am streaming over there multiple times per week. Podcast that comes out every Friday. Go ahead and tap in with your boy. With that being said, you guys know. Give this video a like. Do all that. Help out the channel. Drop a comment. Please. I need all the help I can get. I take too many breaks. But that's another conversation for another time. That being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Everybody have a great day. And I will talk to you soon.